Nice warrior. I'm up. No, 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 I can't be here. How can I be here? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, no. No, this can't be happening. Oh no. Oh please, no. No, say something. You can't be dead. You can't be dead. No, you can't be alive. We killed you. You can never kill me. I created you. I live within you. And all that you create. No, I'm not here. This isn't happening. I'm in Fanfictasia. I'm in Fanfictasia. You can run to the farthest corner of the universe, but in the end you'll realize you can never live together. There is no world where you can find peace. Heroes and villains were created for conflict. Your whole reason for being is to fight and destroy each other. You're living in a fantasy world, pretending these labels don't exist. But if you think you found your happily ever after, you need to wake up. Ah! <gasps> the bat got me! Another Batman dream? I'm not usually the jealous type, but now you've outnumbered my mantis dreams three to one. No, I mean my bat. Oh, now he's your bat. My baseball bat. It doesn't matter. It was just a stupid nightmare. Mom, are you okay? Ah, uh, nuts. I woke the kids. Shh, Motley. You'll wake your brother. Mom, Mom, Mom! What's going on? What's going on? Hi, Mom. Mom! Oh, hi, Jimmy. Motley, get back in the bed. But I'm up now. Did you have another dream about Batman? No, I didn't. And don't go spreading any of that around at school. I can keep a secret. I didn't tell you and Dad about Jimmy's arm. What, what about Jimmy's arm? arm? Ah! Oh, for Pete's sake. Where the heck is your arm? He gave it to a girl he's in love with. Shut up, Mott. But it's true. I do love her. That's wonderful, Jimmy, but it's not the relevant issue here. Typically, one gives, say, a lock of one's hair. Not an entire limb. It'll grow back. Well, of course it'll grow back, but not by tomorrow. What about your game? I don't think it'll make much difference. Come on, it's 3 a.m. Motley, stop teasing your brother and get your butt back in the bed. Can you tell me the story of Fanfictasia again? No, it's bedtime. Please, I'll fall asleep as you tell it. What a glowing review. Please. All right, but just the abridged version. Dad, kick us off. Ahem. <clears throat> A quarter score and three years ago. Dad, what? Eight years ago, Jimmy. Your forefather, me, and your foremother were integral in the emancipation of all future fanfictations from the clutches of the evil 24 karat super sociopath known as Oscar. We killed him and he's dead. End of story. Well, uh, okay, I guess we're skipping forward a tad, but it wasn't the end of our story. Dr. Manhattan teleported all of us to our own private corner of the known universe. It wasn't much to look at in the beginning, but with Ego's powers and everyone's ideas, we built a world we could all call home. Drawing inspiration from our implanted memories and backstories, we made one world out of many, with realms to suit everyone. Urban realms, fantasy realms, Realms under the sea, realms above the sky, even realms within realms. And it was my idea to go back and see if there was anyone we'd left behind. Turns out Asuka had a whole bunch of other arenas on the side. The inhabitants were very happy to see us. Rejoice, my friends! We've come to rescue you from this endless cycle of violence. Everyone do what the sheep is doing! Stop motion! Yes, stop motion characters, that's us. It worked! I'm the greatest sorcerer! Alright, put the twig away, Peck. We don't want to spook the natives. I think I need a little more time to explain the situation. After we got them all back home, our world got a whole lot bigger. Literally, ego increased its diameter by 20%. Around this time, we elected the Fanfic 10 a group of esteemed individuals chosen by their peers to best represent the needs of everyone in matters of fanfictation policy. 
and the first thing they did was to outlaw extreme acts of supernaturalism, such as mind control, regeneration, mass destruction, and time travel. But you know, it's been eight years, and I gotta say, we're scraping by without them. Why weren't you two elected? Why indeed? Your mother launched a very strong campaign that ultimately fell short, but she is still a pillar of our community. Some of the Fanfic 10 themselves come to her for therapy. I charge them extra. It's my subtle revenge. And don't forget the best part. I certainly hope I don't, because the 8th anniversary is coming up. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Not you. Mm. Oh, DC is starting on top, but it won't end there. Your mother and I did a lot of stuff together in the privacy of our own home, and boom, Mr. Stork deposited you two in the pumpkin patch. Well, Mr. Stork should have been wearing his raincoat. Wait, you skipped the part about the vault. Oh, the vault. Well, the fanfic 10 decreed that certain weapons and objects that we brought from the arena were just too powerful and dangerous to be loose in the world. So they locked them up in a secure vault that can only be opened by the combined authentication of the fanfic 10. But that's never gonna happen. Can I see inside the vault? No! What did I just say? That's not fair! I didn't get a say in any of this! Yeah, well, that's life, kiddo. You wake up in a strange world and you gotta either beat them or join them. Now go to sleep. Mom, am I a hero or a villain? What? Why are you asking that? It's just the kids at lunch were choosing teams based on whether their parents were heroes or villains, and they said since both my parents are anti-heroes, that makes me an anti-hero and they're all anti-anti-heroes. That's ridiculous. You're seven years old. You're not heroes or villains. You're kids. You should just be having fun together. You, you guys all get along, right? Yeah, of course. Good, because otherwise you missed the whole point of the story. We fought so you don't have to. I know, Mom. Sleep, now. <laughs> Good silicon heavens. Detective Odin's daughter. Okay, first, slow down. Second, if this is another light speeding fine, you've got the wrong extension. I'm in the middle of a massive case at the moment and... Actually, you wouldn't happen to be a size 8 slipper. What? Are you serious? Of course I can handle it. I'm on the case. In the fanfictation justice system, the people are represented by one sexy yet equally intelligent hero. This is his story. I know you're already serving 53 consecutive life sentences in Supermax, but if you don't play ball with the DA, I'm going to make things hard for you. What are you gonna do? Send me to the electric chair? Send you? You're in it. Oh! Ah! Yeah, I wasn't really feeling that one. Let's run it from her line and I'll give it a bit more juice. Also, not to question the script, but is this accurate due process? It's not the scene. Fanfic 10 just called for you. God of Thunder. I'm on my way. Pain, panic. Grab some battery packs. Thorn order is going mobile. Who found the body? I did, Mom. Oh dear. And who moved the body? It was suspended from this descender rig. By our powers combined, we winched it back up. <clears throat> Ethan Hunt. Impossible. Hello. Thor, that was you. <laughs> Thor? Hell are you doing here? Well, it appears there's been a homicide. Fanfic 10, no less. Want me on the case? I'm on the case. Well, I guess they didn't think you could handle it. You're not a real detective. How many homicide cases have you solved? None. This is the first we've ever had. Well, I've solved over a hundred. Enough for syndication. Those aren't real cases. It's a stupid TV show. So it's my 100 plus stupid TV show cases versus your zero cases of any kind. I think that makes me the most qualified. Uh, uh, Miss Ella, can we get a quick shot of you introducing yourself as Thor's assistant? Why have you brought these two idiots? This is a murder investigation, not some cheap primetime escapism. Hella, my job doesn't stop simply because all of Fanfictasia is crying out for me to balance the scales of justice. 
but I swear on our mother, this investigation is my top priority. Oh, uh, can we get that again? There was a plane! Hella, my job doesn't stop simply- I have to deal with this dead body, but the first chance I get, I'm going straight to the fanfic 10. There's a dead body? Seems that Hunt has become the hunted, hanging off the world's tallest building. Well, clearly he was attempting a death-defying heist to steal encrypted data. Or he was just doing his job when some jackass came along and ruined his day. Been there. Rorschach's journal. Tonight, a window cleaner died in Gothtropolis. Spider-Man's journal. Tonight, I found a missing mogwai, and one of the city's most dedicated professionals was brutally slain in the line of duty. Crying spider emoji. What villain could have done this? What makes you think it was a villain? How did you all get here? Well, my spider sense tingled, so I called Catwoman, I guess she called Shazam. I called everyone. Why didn't you turn on the super signal? Isn't that what it's for? There's no clouds! A cloudless night was always the best time to commit a crime in Gotham. Or during the day. It wouldn't have mattered. We'd still have arrived too late. In the end, all we could do was cover him up. All you could do was interfere with the crime scene? We fight crime, we don't solve it. I've never even seen a crime scene before, is this what they look like? Ew. Oh, go and write an article about it, Clark. Leave the CSI to the pros. Knife wound in the chest. Oh. That wasn't a request, that was an observation, wasn't it? Um, hmm. So, two knife wounds in the chest. But we can disregard the second one as it occurred post-mortem. We just cut our workload in half. Go team! Window is broken from the inside. I've got glass, blood and cleaning equipment down below. Why'd you put those there? I didn't put them there, they fell! I like that theory. So what's the next move? I take the body to the lab and start hunting for a murderer. Ethan hunting. Morning, Dennis! <sighs> what is this made-up world coming to? Ah! <laughs> Jimmy! You wanna lose that other arm? Knock it off, you two! Save the gross misconduct for the game. Hey, Puddle, I'm borrowing your backpack. Ethan Hunt was murdered in the city last night. Murdered? Are they sure he didn't just fall off the side of a plane? Since he was stabbed whilst window cleaning. Bad way to go. Ah, oh, maybe they made a mistake. Wouldn't it be the first case of the Fanfic Times having a printer retraction? So, what are your plans for this fine day? Lara Croft invited me to go Tomb Raiden. Is the coolest sentence ever spoken, Jolie or Vikander? Video game version. Kicking it old school. Well, I trust you remember the deal. I've got them this time, but for next week's Take Your Parent to School Day. You're the parent they're taking to school on that day. Yeesh. Why'd they have to outlaw time travel? We gotta skip forward to the day they leave home. Ten more years. Just gotta keep our heads above water. Segway! I've never brought anyone here before. It's my special place. I come here once a week to decompress. I thought only humans had to do that. I mean emotionally. Seeing her come out of the darkness like a ghost ship... ...gets me every time. Oh my gosh, you're so deep. I know, babe. Ah, Ariel, listen to me. I don't trust this half-breed. Sebastian, I don't understand what your problem is. He lives under the sea, has a gold trident, long flowing hair. This is my perfect match. Well, ignoring the exoskeleton chilling daddy issues, I think there's another redhead in the picture. He is a philanderer. A flounderer? Well, we all get a little erratic on the surface. He's flounders? <gasps> no, he has a woman in every port! Literally! What is this? Someone's been dumping their trash in my ocean! That's not trash. Wow. She's pretty hot. So how'd you find this place? Jones told me about it. Said he got an anonymous tip. A tomb tip? Who made it? Don't know. I've created several tombs myself, but it's no fun raiding when you already know where all the booby traps are. Booby traps? Yeah, you know. Poison darts, collapsing floors, bodies jumping out at you. Ah! Jones, where the hell have you been? You were late, so I started without you. 
I was right on time. Guys, chill. There's plenty of tomb here for all of us. Actually, there's not. I was just doubling back as I hit a dead end. <laughs> hey, I don't want to tell you guys how to do your hobbies, but... Beginner's luck. Do you smell smoke? <gasps> Is that... That man? Is this a joke? It has to be. These tombs are full of fake bones and artifacts. None of it's real. But Batman? Someone's playing a prank on us. I don't know. It looks like half of these bones have been recently buoyed. How did you receive this anonymous tomb tip? A little bird told me. Jones? Oh, look, someone slipped it into my Fanfic 10 suggestion box. Here. But you can't tell the others, okay? I'll get in trouble for abusing my position. I knew him well, Lara. Well, I'm actually not sure which Batman this is, but they shared many traits. The tomb's collapsing. Run! Uh. Uh. Oh. No, wait. What? I don't know why you didn't do that originally. Because it'll block the entrance or we'll be stuck in here until we die of thirst. Grab onto it! Are you sure you didn't make that too? Release it, Kraken! Two bodies in as many days. But how long was she down there? Can't have been more than a week. I frequent that wreck. Clear the decks. I have to make sure she's all here before she goes to the lab. Will you hurt her, you scabrous, scurvy scallywags? Okay, she's all here. Yar! That be your leader! Her eyes are as big as a giant squid. Hello. You left without me, grab an establishing. Thor. You're not a detective. Oh, really? Well, I just detected a hint of peevishness in your tone of voice. I'll give you a hint, you son of a- Don't bring Mother into this. Did the Fanfic 10 or did the Fanfic 10 not confirm my appointment? Yes, but- Case closed. The case is far from closed, as you can clearly see. So what are we thinking? Boating accident? Shark attack? Obviously not. She's been surgically dismembered and dumped. We'll try to reboot her and hopefully she can tell us what happened. Hello, if you knew anything about electricity, you'd see she's clearly waterlogged. What you're suggesting could fry her circuitry. So what do you suggest? Well, we have to dry her out first. And there's only one surefire way to dry out a complex electronic device. Ah, dudes, that was my lunch. This is the stupidest idea you've ever had. And that's a high bar. We'll come back in 12 hours once she's dried out and I'll give her a jolt for my electrodes. What's the ish? Ah, uh, dudes? What's this? Hello, you need to come back to the lab. Someone just brought in another body. Fortunately, these teeth are on file. So which one is it? George Clooney. Who would kill George Clooney Batman? George Clooney, for one. Let's try and restrict our suspect pool to people on this planet. Based on the carbon readings, I'd say death occurred almost eight years ago. That's almost as old as Fanfictasia itself. How could no one have noticed he's been missing all this time? Well, from my understanding, all the Schumacher Batman characters gravitated towards Val Kilmer Batman. Could Kilmer be the killer? Kilmer's no killer. What about the burnt femur? Also Clooney's? No, I can tell you straight away that it's much more recent. Because it stinks. I'm scanning it now, but it will take some time to identify. Did you learn anything from Ethan Hunt? Well, you were right about the cause of death. Of the two wounds in the chest... No, I told you to ignore the second one. Yes, I got your message, Thor. A sharp object broke through the window and penetrated the chest. I found pieces of glass inside the wound. But Thor's handiwork is not the only mutilation this body has suffered post-mortem. Good glad time. It's the same as the one on Alita. Where is Alita? Oh, we left her on the Black Pearl for now. Put her head in a bowl of rice to dry out. You what? 
It was Thor's idea. Look, it worked when I dropped my Stark pad in the privy. Hey, detectives. I found a clue on Clooney. If five years as a detective and the world's leading crime drama have taught me anything, it's to recognize the connective threads that betray the exploits of a serial killer. <gasps> of what? Serial. With an S. Oh, thank God. I mean, that's horrible. Where to now? The Ego Center. To find out who built that tomb. Let us just say thank you so much for watching this video. It's the product of months and months of maximum effort from the two goofballs you see above us. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, Art Spear Entertainment, please consider doing so. Because it costs nothing, but means everything to these two misguided souls. Mom, who are you talking to? I'm breaking the fourth wall, sweetie. You'll understand when you're older. I want to do it now! I can do it. Watch. Hi, everybody. That's not where the wall is, champ, but don't stop practicing. The only way to save Van Victasia is to let our powers combine. Earth. Fire. Wind. Water. Hunt. By your powers combined, I oh, am yeah. Captain, Captain Planet. Planet. By your powers uncombined, I don't even exist, and that terrifies me.